Sing with all the saints in glory, sing the resurrection song. Death and sorrow were stark story, to the former days belong. All around the clouds are breaking, soon the storms of time shall cease. In God's likeness we awaken, knowing everlasting peace. Oh, what glory for exceeding all that eye has yet perceived. Holiest hearts for ages pleading, never that full joy conceived. God has promised, Christ prepares it, there on high our welcome waits. Every humble spirit shares it, Christ has passed the eternal gates. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear friends, we gather here today on this Tuesday to celebrate the memorial of St. Aloysius Gonzaga, who was a Jesuit, a scholastic. As we gather here to remember this great saint, we also remember that you and I are also called to sainthood, called to holiness, called to live our lives as disciples of Jesus. For the many times that perhaps we have not done so, we ask the Lord today to forgive us, and we also rejoice today in God's mercy. Let us pray. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Semicherim, king of Assyria, sent envoys to Hezekiah with this message. Thus shall you say to Hezekiah, king of Judah, Do not let your God on whom you rely deceive you, by saving that Jerusalem will not be handed over to the king of Assyria. You have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all other countries. They doom them. Will you then be saved? Hezekiah took the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. Then he went up to the temple of the Lord, and spreading it before him, he prayed in the Lord's presence, O Lord God of Israel, enthroned upon the cherubim, you alone are God over all kingdoms of the earth. You have made the heavens and all the earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib which he sent to taunt the living God. Truly, O God, the king of Assyria, have laid waste the nations and their lands, and cast their gods into the fire. They destroyed them because they were not gods, but the work of human hands, wood and stone. Therefore, O Lord, our God, save us from the power of this man, that all kingdoms of the earth may know that you, O Lord, are God. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent the message to Hezekiah. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, in answer to your prayer to help against Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have listened. This is the word the Lord has spoken concerning him. She despises you, laugh you to scorn, the virgin daughter Zion. Behind you she wags her head, daughter Jerusalem. For out of Jerusalem shall come a remnant, and from Mount Sinai, survivors, the zeal of the Lord shall do this. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not reach this city, nor shoot an arrow at it, nor come before it with a shield, nor set up siege works against it. 
He shall return by the same way he came without entering the city, says the Lord. I will shield and save this city for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. That night the angel of the Lord went forth and struck down 185,000 men in the Assyrian camp. So Sennacherib, the king of Assyria, broke ramp and went back home to Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Sinai, the recesses of the north, in the city of the great king. God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. O God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. As your name, O God, so also your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Of justice your right hand is full. God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord, whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others what you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constructed the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we read today's Gospel, Jesus is challenging us that we strive to enter through that narrow gate. He tells us that the gate that leads to destruction is wide. It's easily passed through. But the gate that leads to life is narrow, it's constricted. And so we must strive, we must work hard to attain that gift of life. And you know, how do we do that? Well, part of it is we don't follow the rest of the world. We don't follow the path that leads to destruction. Instead, we live our lives differently, just as the scripture says. It says, do to others whatever you would have them do to you. He was reminding them that that's exactly what the law, you know, the Ten Commandments, and what the prophets have told. Over and over again, the prophets have called Israel back to the covenant and told them that they would be punished if their sins, if they did not return if they did not repent, if they did not leave their past behind. Oh, to strive through that narrow gate. Jesus doesn't tell us it's impossible. He says it's difficult because it's narrow and constrained. Because there are too many distractions for you and I here on this earth. But Jesus gives us that opportunity. He gives us every grace that we need. He gives us the power of the Holy Spirit and one another so that we can pray for each other, so we can challenge each other, and we can lead each other down that constrictive path that will lead us to life. We have an example 
of someone who did not choose to go down that wide road or enter through that wide gate that leads to destruction. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Aloysius Gonzaga. And he was a man who was brought into nobility. He really was a prince, and yet he had this calling. He had this calling to enter into religious life. So in order to do that, he had to give all his money away. He renounced his title and gave everything to his brother, and then so entered into the Society of Jesus, commonly known to you and I as the Jesuits. And he worked hard. As a student, he ministered to plague-stricken people in hospitals. He was a scholastic who was studying, and yet he realized compassion that was needed. He realized he had to go through that constricted road and care for those who, during the plague, everyone ran away from because it was highly contagious. And indeed, St. Aloysius Gonzaga contracted the plague, and he died at a very young age, at only 23. St. Aloysius Gonzaga is indeed a patron saint of college students. And maybe that's why we know some Jesuit universities named Gonzaga, named after this saint, who was willing to give himself up to care for the needs of others, who was willing to walk through that constricted gate that led him to heaven. Today, let us look at this young man's example and let us realize how important it is for us to love. And when we love, we don't enter through that massive gate, we enter through the narrow one. For loving our neighbor is not easy, neither is a disciple, and neither is that, neither is that road that leads us to life. We now entrust to our merciful Father the needs and prayers of our faith community. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. May God continue to give him strength and good health in his leadership of the Church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for world leaders. May God help them in seeking peaceful resolutions and just laws. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all refugees and civilians living in war-torn communities, may God protect them and guide them as they work toward building up communities of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our nation, for an end to abortion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all Jesuits and for all students. May they follow the example of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves and our community of faith. May God give us trusting hearts that turn towards him in times of trouble. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, that they may be healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may God grant them eternal rest and may perpetual light shine upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now take all of these prayers. We lift them up into one, raising them to God our Father, praying as our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of mercy, hear these prayers and answer them in your merciful goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And together let us pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. 
I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Friends, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Life eternal, heaven rejoices. Jesus lives who once was dead. Shout with joy, O oh, deathless voices. Child of God, lift up your head. Patriarchs from distant ages, saints all longing for their heaven. Prophets, psalmists, seers, and sages, all await the glory given. Life eternal, oh, what wonders, crowd on faith, what joy unknown. When amid earth's closing thunders, saints shall stand before the throne. Oh, to enter that bright portal, see that glowing firmament. Know with you, O oh God immortal, Jesus Christ, whom you have sent.